Hi, Virgo. I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, psychic seer and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for May 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in May and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there, so you might want to check that out. This recording is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, and Virgo Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck in this reading. All that being said, Virgo, now on to your May 2024 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have, Virgo, is the Ten of Rods, and this is moving on to new and better horizons with Ten Rods of Burden on your shoulder. And these Ten Rods of Burden can actually be knowledge and experience you've gained. That will help you as you move on to the new and better horizons. Some of you are putting out feelers of where you want to go. And this could be moving. It could be a job. It could be moving. Or both. And you may feel like it's important for you right now to get out and see other sites of like where you may want to, you know, be enchanted by, be moved by. Like you may want to go visit certain things and see like, does this area make me feel connected? Do I feel connected to this area? Do I feel it's got some kind of magic? Do I feel that there's some feeling of connection to a place? Now, this could be just from like, you know, wanting to go on a trip, uh, and check it, check out new scenery, new places to go, new things to experience. But for some of you, it's with a purpose. And the purpose is because you may want to consider moving there and living there all the time. I see you making pros and cons lists. I see you um, asking yourself questions like, does this stack up? Again, I really feel it's about moving. Like maybe it's like an apartment you want to move to or a condo you want to move to or a townhome or a house or an area. It could be about an area. I keep seeing a national park. I keep seeing woods. I see trees. I see a wooden sign that's like, has the name of like the area, the town, the park on it. And so you may be actually going to move. You can't live in a national park, but near one or in an area that's got mountains, woods, trees, lots of trees, because uh, I see a lot of green. I see trees. I see dirt trails. Uh, so... Again, this could be some, maybe you're going camping. Maybe what I'm picking up is like a vacation or a camping trip because my guides are all showing me this in visions. You know, most of the times they talk to me and I hear them in my mind. They give me messages that way, but I am getting a mixture here. And so some of this I'm seeing clairvoyantly. If you're not moving, you may be looking at your residence and wanting to make physical changes to it. Um, and it could be taking inspiration from nature. Maybe you or maybe you want to build a home or a vacation home. And it could be a log cabin. It could involve that or just look very natural with lots of wood uh, like where I live some people have wood shingles on their house that they stain and that looks very natural 
not far from where I am, like an hour away, people have log cabins in this one town. Not every house, but a lot of them are log cabins. Like that's more like an outdoorsy, woodsy, natural kind of look. So you could be doing something like that to your own residence. So the next card in your reading is the Magician, and this is the card of the Manifester. What you think about, you bring about. What's in the ethers and in the spiritual plane, you can manifest into physical reality, and you have all the tools in front of you with which to do so. Sometimes the Magician can be trickster energy, but that's not usually what it means when the Magician shows up in my readings, but it could be that also. Lots of things are going to fall in your lap in May. I feel like some things people are going to give you. I see projects and plans falling in your lap. I see things from other people that could be like f home furnishings, documents, like things in writing, boxes of valuables getting put in your lap. So don't be surprised if an aunt or a family member or somebody gives you, like you inherit something or they give it to you and they're still living and they give you things that meant a lot to them that have sentimental value over the years or a collections of what they had. Because I see things landing in your lap, different kinds of things. Some of you could be putting out an advertisement in a newspaper. It could be online. It could be in other forms uh, that you have things to sell. So you may be selling some things. You may be looking at other people's homes, businesses, uh, landscaping, it could be anything. And you're like, it could even be in a magazine. It could be something you saw on the internet, could be in a magazine, could be a neighbor or somebody you know. And you may be like, I want my house to look like that. Or I want my business to be just like that business and run like that. Like, I see you looking at something somebody else is doing and you're like, that is like a good model for you to follow in some way. Maybe it's your career. Maybe you're like, hey, I have a friend or I have a relative and they got into this line of work and they had this success and that success and then their life went this way and that way and I want to have something very similar. So I'm going to model my business or career uh, after that. Now, it doesn't mean everything will turn out exactly the same as the thing you want to model it after, but I'm going to tell you something. You Virgos that are good with your hands, Virgo sun, moon, and rising, good at building and creating, I do feel like you can duplicate stuff pretty exact. I will say that. But when it comes to a job or a career or a business, there's a lot of variables. So you may be able to come close, but it doesn't mean it's going to be exact if it's in those areas. So before I move on to card number three, I'd just like to say here, if you'd like to see what's lucky and new for you in 2024, you can get my most recently recorded video series for what's lucky and new for you in 2024, Psychic Tarot and Oracle Card Readings. That link is posted down below in the description box in the Show More section, and it is on my Vimeo on-demand videos. So if you click on that link down below, it will take you to that page on Vimeo. Then you select what zodiac sign you want and follow through with getting that video, and then you can see and you might want to get your sun sign, rising sign, and possibly your moon sign. What resonates for you on YouTube is what you should check out on Vimeo. It's a good rule of thumb. Also, you can get these links are also on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. There, if you click on the zodiac sign under the heading of what's lucky and new for you in 2024, that zodiac sign link takes you directly to that 
specific video on Vimeo. So I hope you'll decide to check them out. I do them every year. These predictions go from April of 2024 until the very beginning of January of 2025. So now on to card number three, you have the lover's card. So this is a card that symbolizes having a, an empathetic and an empathic connection with somebody. Often it's sexual chemistry. Uh, not always love. It can be love. There is a angel watching over the couple, which could be somebody in the outside world, outside of the couple, interfering with the couple. One time somebody asked me, what do you mean by that? Well, jobs can interfere, family members can interfere, kids could interfere, friends could interfere. So those are the kind of things that could interfere with a couple. But the angel could be blessing the couple, blessing the couple as well. I do feel like you're putting out a lot of vibes and sexual chemistry towards someone in May. This could be somebody you're already married to or in a relationship with, but for some of you, this could be somebody that you work with or a friend that, or someone new. It could be like a new person coming in. If you are in a couple, I feel like the relationship is deepening and maybe getting more intense for some of you. And I also feel for some of you, you're healing something that was troubling or maybe didn't go exactly the way you wanted it to or was a pain, painful experience in the relationship. You're healing from it, whether you're still together with them or you're not. And for some of you, there could be some things that you wanted to say that you never got to say, or uh, feelings you wanted to express in a particular way, and you never did it. So if the person is still in your life, I feel like you'll take that opportunity to do that now. If the person is not in your life, you may reach out to them and let them know that through an, a letter or an email or a conversation. But for some of you, you may write a letter and not give it to them and then burn it on the night of a full moon, which would release anything you do under the light of a full moon. Uh, that is a good time to release things, people, situations, uh, whatever is in your life, troubles, worries, and write them down on paper and burn them under the light of the full moon. That's a, but you don't have to wait for the full moon. You could write the letter and burn it any damn time you want. <laughs> you don't have to follow that, but many people do. So now on to card number four, you have the queen of pentacles. And this very likely is you because the queen of pentacles is an earth sign person. This would be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could be another earth sign person in your life as well. You're being very wary and cautious. And you might also feel like you want to be very judicious in how you handle people and situations in May. Some of you are looking to find a new home. And if you are not looking to find a new home for yourself, if you have a pet you can no longer care for, you may be trying to find a home for that pet. Or if you got pregnant and you feel like you don't want to, you're not in a position to raise a child, you may want to put a child up for adoption. Uh, that is possible for some of you. But looking for a new home in some form or another, or maybe you have an elderly relative or a relative that's got medical problems or conditions 
and maybe they can't function in the home where they are and you may be trying to get them into assisted living or a nursing home or a rehab facility. You could be searching that out either for yourself or for somebody close to you. Some of you want to be free of something. You don't want to have shackles or be pinned down to something and you want to be free of something. Um, you want to feel more free. So if you're in something like, maybe you, maybe you have a job where you have to wear a suit and you may feel like that's a cage uh, or a prison. Like you don't want to have a job where you have to wear a suit and be in a corporate world and maybe that doesn't feel free to you. Maybe it's not even that. Maybe it's a different kind of job. But it just feels like too constrictive, too, too constricting and restrictive, and you feel like you want to be free. You could feel that way about a love relationship as well, uh, but, uh, or a, a living situation. Maybe you have a roommate, and the roommate thing is old hat now, and you're like, okay, I'm done with this roommate situation. I need to be on my own. I need to be free. It will be different for all of you, but some of you will be focusing on freedom and wanting to be free and taking, like mulling it over and then taking steps and actions to get you to that point of, do, of being able to do that. Some of you will be changing your hair and or, and or your wardrobe this month. You may also feel like you want to be in better physical condition and be in better physical health. So you may be taking steps to do that. So you may be joining a gym or do, you know, walking or swimming or doing yoga or some, or, you know, uh, spin classes or something that would make you feel like you're taking action steps towards making yourself look better and feel better also comes up here. So the last card in your reading Virgo is the five of rods, and this is an internal struggle going on in you. It could also be a struggle with coworkers, family members, any social friends or friends groups or clubs groups or organizations that you may belong to. Some of you could find that you're going round and round with family members. And there could be some bickering or concerns about who did what, like blame game going on or who's taking care of this and who's taking care of that and who should be taking care of this and who should be taking care of that. So there could be struggles about people not living up to their responsibilities or duties that could be happening at work. That could be happening in a family situation. You may feel like you're the one that's always doing something, or you may feel like you're on the spot, um, always on the spot, or oh, you're the one that takes care of everything. Other people aren't doing their share, aren't pitching in enough. Um, so there, and you may feel, I feel like you feel this way, but there's other people arguing it. So they may not share your same view or opinion, but remember, this card can mean an internal struggle. So some of you maybe aren't having it outwardly yet. You may be thinking about it in your mind. For some of you, an old argument gets brought back up again. So if you have a love partner that you argued about something in the past and you kind of let it go, well, an old argument could come back in again. That can also happen with family. That doesn't just necessarily mean it has to be a love partner that you're bringing up an old argument and you guys are arguing again. It could very likely be, um, you know, it could be with a sibling or a parent or some family argument that happened before could get dredged back up again so everybody can 
<laughs> go through the fun of arguing about it again. You may also see a lot of abrasiveness from people. Uh, so some of you, this could be people out in the world. You may just feel like, you know, your neighbors or people when you go out and about to different events or food shopping or wherever you're going, you may feel like people in general are more rude and abrasive. You could feel that way if you have clients and customers, they could be that way. But for many of you, it's, you could feel like, I see, I feel like you feel like there's a specific person. So some of you could have a family member or a friend, a specific friend, or a specific coworker or a specific supervisor, manager, or boss that is specifically that person is uh, being abrasive, harsh, difficult to deal with. So some of you are going to see that in May. But remember, timing is different for all of you in these general readings. You may want to go back and listen to what I said a year ago, because sometimes the predictions I made a year ago happen to you now. I hear about it all the time. People write it in the comments. People write me emails about it. Uh, sometimes they say, oh, that happened two years ago. That happened a year ago. That happened six months ago because I'm not reading you privately and your birth chart on your zodiac sign natal chart, you don't have the same things as the other Virgos, same town, same city, town, state. You don't have the same birth time and you don't have the same uh, birthday. Some of you Virgos are born in August. Some of you are born in September. So... That's why timing is different in these general readings. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Virgos to work with, use, and wear in the month of May, and the other sign that got this was Aquarius, you got Sodalite. And Sodalite is a very powerful stone. It's a strong healing stone. It's a great stone for luck. It brings order and calms the mind. Sodalite encourages rational thought, truth, intuition, and objectivity. Sodalite stimulates endurance, and it's good for bringing mental clarity and rational thought. It enhances self-esteem, self-acceptance, self-trust, promotes peace and harmony. It's going to give you a sense of physical strength and emotional strength and a strong sense of purpose if you're wearing this stone or carrying it on you or sleeping with it under your pillow. It's going to really make you feel very logical. Like it, it would be if you have to make any important decisions, if you're wearing sodalite or carrying it, it's going to help you make very logical and rational decisions. It's a good balancing stone for you in May, stabilizing and balancing. If you have any issues with high blood pressure, this wearing this, especially if it's touching your skin, could help reduce blood pressure. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it and share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and click that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. If you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo on-demand videos, my most recently recorded links are posted down below in the description box in the show more section. And the links for those Vimeo videos are also on my website at the luckymermaid.com videos page. There you can read all the different video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, 
how long the predictions go out for, and then you can click on whatever zodiac sign you want, your sun, your moon, your rising, and click on that, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. My most recently recorded video series, as I mentioned in the middle of this video, is what's lucky and new for you in 2024. These are psychic tarot and oracle card readings. The predictions start in April of 2024 and go out until the beginning of January of 2025. If you want to get my other video series, my eclipse videos are very important to watch right now because we are being affected by the eclipses that we had in March and April for the next six to 12 months. So you could get my solar eclipse in Aries, April 8th, 2024, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card reading for each sign of the zodiac. And you can also get my full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th, 2024, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card readings. Many people feel like these eclipse readings are like private readings, and I recommend if you can get both your rising sign and your sun sign, it would be wise to do so. Also, don't forget your Psychic Crystal reading for May of 2024, which is an expansion and a continuation of the Psychic Tarot readings that I'm doing right here, right now, on YouTube and also on Rumble. Also, don't forget my big love readings for 2024 for singles and couples are available. I would watch the entire reading if you buy from that series because some of the messages for singles will still apply to couples and vice versa. Um, there's other readings down there. There's the New Year's crystal readings, the New Year tarot readings, the career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings. Those predictions started in April of 2023, but they go all the way out until the end of October of this year of 2024. So please be sure to check all those out. Remember, when you purchase my videos on Vimeo, you help support this channel because I do not sponsor other people's products and services on this channel. I sponsor my own work. If you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channel through me that you're not going to see here in a video format, you can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC. Also, the Lucky that's on Facebook, the Lucky the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram and on X. I'm at the Lucky Mermaid. Make sure you are following the true accounts. And if anybody contacts you, especially saying uh, that they want to give you a reading on WhatsApp or they have some kind of feeling like I'm picking up something on you and I want to kind of, that is all total BS. The only people I contact are on my wait list and on my cancellations list. I closed my cancellation. I closed my wait list in 2018. I don't add any more people to that list and the cancellations list is still open, but I'm not going to lie. You're going to wait a really long time for a reading because I only can do a couple, a few readings each month. It's taken me forever to get through these people and the list. It's, I, I feel bad the wait is so long, but I don't have the availability to do it. And uh, as much as I did in the past, plus I have other things going on that are keeping me from doing private readings the way I would used to in the past and the way I would like to. But if anybody contacts you and if it's me, you will get it in an email and it will be to, you have to be on either one of those lists, the old closed wait list or the ongoing still cancellations list. If you're not on either one of those, I'm not going to write you or contact you for anything. And if anybody does, it's a scam and they're trying to get your money or your information. So be careful of that. If you would like to help support this channel, I have a donation link down below under all the video series, and it is connected to PayPal. Thank you to those of you who are very kind and generous and donated to my channel and donate to my channel still. I truly appreciate it. It means a lot to me and it does help me a lot. 
So I hope you all have absolutely awesome energy and great times and fun and happiness this month of May, 2024. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.